Hey everybody, welcome to Crochet in May. I have a crochet finished object for you. And I've had this yarn in my stash for a while, but I got this gorgeous tunic and it really inspired me to make something with the yarn. And I used every bit of it up in this shawl pattern. It's called Memento Mori. On the pattern, there are two different credits. One says pattern written by Melody Martinez. And it also says Jarda Jasmine Modern Crochet Design. So that's all the sources I have for you for this pattern. And I will link to it underneath this video. I cannot remember how I found this pattern, but I know I had two Oops. skeins of DK weight yarn and this pattern called for that amount. So here it is. I love it so much. I'm a really big fan of sugar skulls. And so this reminds me of that. And this is it. So I like how it's really open and yet the crochet allows us to make these pictures within it. And you can't really tell exactly what you're seeing at first, but then you go, oh wait, are those little skulls incorporated in your shawl? Yes, yes they are. This pattern is nice because it's written out, but it's also charted. And at first I didn't realize they had the complete chart in the pattern, so I was really struggling to read all of the little details within the instructions. And I think those instructions are very, very helpful when you are new to crochet and you don't know how to read a chart but it drove me insane. So I was so grateful that I kept scrolling and I saw at the very end, the very last page is the complete chart of this shawl. So you do not need to worry about reading all of the fine print, just scroll to the very last chart. What's nice is it starts with the first skull. So you get a feel for the pattern, all of the different elements that make the motif and then it repeats itself a few times. I have to say, when I got to a certain point in this shawl, I thought I might have enough yarn to go one extra skull on each side. So not ending here, but going one more. But then when I actually ran out of the first skein and took a look at the chart, I realized that even though I just had one skull left on each side, because it was getting wider and wider, it was really going to eat up that second skein of yarn, which it did. I think I just added only one row here, just one additional row to the top to finish off my skein of yarn. I got this yarn at DTLA Gather, which is a really awesome, tiny little yarn shop within a bookstore in LA, and I will link to our video. We just did a little tour underneath this video, so you can check that out. And I believe the base was a DK weight Quince & Co, and I had never worked with Quince & Co before. It seems like a tonal, it is a tonal, but it has a little bit of ebb and flow to the fabric. If I hold it up, you might be able to see that it is definitely this pale blue, but maybe if you just look closely at a skull, you can see it kind of gets a little bit lighter and then a little bit truer blue as it goes. The stitch patterns itself, I, you know, crocheting has come very naturally to me. Now, let me see what the pattern says as far as the, the difficulty level. This says it's easy. Well, it has four bars and it will say easy on one side and there are two bars, so it's easy and then one more bar. So I guess it's kind of, easy heading to intermediate, probably just because you do have to pay attention to two different motifs happening at once because as you're finishing up one, you're starting the next one. And I think also because it's charted, charting seems to be like a next level skill when you're learning crochet. I added some tassels, really happy that I had enough to add the tassels. I stopped reading the pattern. I don't know if there were specific instructions on the tassels. I was just looking at the picture that they provided, which had tassels. And I think they added a bead too, with possibly a skull bead, which would be really fun detail to add to your shawl. It probably took me about four or five sessions of crocheting to finish it. It took a little longer than I expected it to take but it's such a wonderful two skein of DK weight yarn project. I've picked out some kits 
for this project. You can get three skeins of DK weight yarn in our shop, Knit and Escape. It will be Emma's yarn as the base, and I've put together some colors that I think would go really well with this crochet project because we need more people crocheting, and this is such a fun and unexpected piece to crochet up. It is spring season, it is time to crochet, it's time to wear the crochet and do the crocheting, and I think it could be such a nice addition to your wardrobe if you are out and about and you just want a little something in case there's a breeze. I love this piece and it's a conversation piece as well because I don't think everyone expects to see skulls within crochet. I think that goes against the stereotypical norms of crochet, which is why I was really drawn to this pattern. If you're not into the shawl, I'm sure you could use the motif for something else. Maybe you want to add it to a sweater or just make little skull washcloths. I don't know, you could have fun with it. I'm sure there's some diversity here and just taking a look at the chart. Thank you so much as always for joining me here at Christy Glass Knits and Crochets. I really do love crochet. I get swept up in my knitting projects and so it was really nice to sit down and focus on the hook and the yarn. I'm so grateful to have you here on my channel and I will see you next time. Bye!